can balance love and me Said you saw me dreams Lullabies when you need Hope you can find a light in me Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel Today I'm going to be showing you how to do cornrows on your lace frontal this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal from beauty for every hair if you guys want to check them out i will leave it down below but this video is going to be very in depth i'm going to show you different things that you need to make sure that your lace is not lifting when you're braiding i'm going to show you in detail how to do the cornrow itself and this whole look i'm basically going to show you this whole look if you guys want to check out my initial video putting this wig on then i'm going to link it in the eye above over here and also down below in the description box so you guys can check that out okay you guys so to braid all you're going to need is some mousse any mousse of your choice and then all i like to do all i like to do is just part out the area that i'm going to be working with so i'm going to just part this area out and then get some clips and clip away the areas that you're not going to be using. Okay, so I'm going to just be using the front area. And make sure you detangle from the ends just to make sure that this is easy and smooth. So you just want to comb it out. And one of the most important things when you're doing a braid is making sure that you have some type of tension at the front of your head. So get your head wrap, get your head wrap and just tie down the front, like literally the front area where the baby hairs is. You want to make sure that that is tied down. Okay. So now that it's tied down, we can move forward with braiding. So I'm going to start off with this side. All I'm going to do is leave a little, little section out so I'm not pulling it too, too much. And then I'm going to part it going up. I'm not sure what kind of braid look I'm going for, but... So now that it's parted, I'm going to just section this out of the way. And make sure that your... Make sure that your your knots are bleached because this is going to look crazy if you have knots. So I'm going to just take this and I'm going to put it in the parting area and this is going to help it to be even more seamless. Okay. So this is the first braid right here. Then I'm going to do another one. Same, same pattern, same parting area, just slanted like that. Go ahead and put some mousse on the parting. Because I'm going for a half up, half down type of look. So now I'm at the top. I'm going to part it again. Put some mousse. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. Okay, so once the mousse is there in the parting area, I'm going to take three pieces at the front, right? So you have one, two, three, and then take one side. So you could take the left side, put your finger underneath the middle and grab the right, okay? And then put your finger, hold, hold the middle now over the right, and then put your finger through and grab the left put your finger through grab the right and the left so that's basically all you're doing
that's how you do the braid so I'm just going to finish up the other side and then I'm going to come back and do the half up half down my arms are burning <laughs> so just be aware just be aware that your arms are gonna burn because it's like an arm workout and you want to make sure that it's detangled just because this is lace if it's not detangled and you're pulling on it it's going to rip and pull the hair out and you can always go in with your foundation and just fill in the areas that look that does not look like skin just fill in those areas so you can help it look like skin And then this is the last one right here. So I'll do the same exact thing. Take that little piece out and then just braid. Whew. And now that I'm done, I'm just going to take all of these braids and a little piece of hair from the back. And this is what I'm going to use as the half up, half down. Okay, I'm going to put the hair tie. Make sure you're not pulling on the hair at all. Literally just catch all the hair and put it in the hair tie. Do not pull it whatsoever because it's going to pull your lace off. Okay, and now that I have it like so, I'm just going to take piece from the back and braid it into a braid since this is a braided ponytail. So I'm just going to take like right here braid this into a braid like very loose braid, braid because you want this braid to be semi big for when you wrap it around okay so now i'm just going to take it and make sure that it's nice and big and i'm going to wrap this around the ponytail And after you're done wrapping, you're basically done, but I'm just going to define the ends of the hair just because I don't like it to be poofy like this. So I just put some mousse and define the ends of the hair. So this is how it's looking and then the final thing you want to do is take some mousse and just put it on top of the hair like so and then you can just tie it down with a headscarf you can blow dry it as well and this is just going to make sure that it's nice and flat and all the flyaways are out of the way so i'm going to tie it down and then i'm going to come back when everything is dried so just get you a headscarf and then just tie down the front And then you can just blow it, blow it on high heat with your blow dryer. Okay, I let it sit for a little while and this is how it's supposed to look nice and flat. This is the end results. This is Beauty Forever Hair. If you guys want to check them out, I will have the links down below. If you want to check out my initial me installing this wig, I will have that video down below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know if this video helped you to learn how to braid on your frontal. 
I hope this really helped you guys and I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye! Okay you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If this was helpful and you guys learned how to braid on your frontal and if the tips are helpful to you or you're gonna try it out, let me know down below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out Beauty Forever here. I will have the links in the description box. Bye! Find a